to make sure she's I okay. What the hell? Every Saturday. Wait a minute. You want to make sure she's okay? Why? Because there's black men standing here speaking godly? Right. Oh, is she okay? You're her savior? Like every friggin' slave movie, some white man swoops in on a friggin' white horse and saves the slave. Now get the hell out of here. Hey. Is she okay? Right. I can't, yo, these devils make me sick, man. So God says, but he that is spiritual judgeth all it's things. The word of God. In the word order to be spiritual, you, you to must understand. be keeping the laws of God. Yes, right. So because you keep the laws of God, you can judge I just all read. things. I just read. Amanda, I just read. Amanda, I just read. Amanda, Amanda. Somebody say, bye, Amanda. Bye, Amanda. Bye, Amanda. Bye, Amanda. Amanda, you finished. Like, why are you still here? Because I'm not here for you. I'm not. I'm not here for you. I hope not. I don't leave until my master tells me to leave. You mean Satan? No. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. She said, she said, hey, Amanda. Amanda, so what is love according to the Bible? What is love? Now we're talking to me? Yes, I'm back to you, Amanda. You said you were done. Yeah, I was, but now you brought me back. Okay, let's talk about You brought me back. Yeah, it talks about the love in Corinthians. That's the love I'm talking about. The one that love does not boast. That's the, that's the love I'm talking about. Because last time someone read love, and that's not exactly what the book said. Oh, so you don't, you don't want that. Because Corinthians just give a greater detail in charity. So it describes, so that's not right? So now you want to know the answer? Yeah, that's see? not right. Ooh, see, that's not right. you might be coming around. There might be some hope no, I can't somewhere deep it from down, you. down. I can't receive down, it from you. Down. You can't teach me. Okay. You can't teach me. Right, My right, spirit right, right. does not bear witness with you. It doesn't? That, it, no. I'm telling you. Because you're not supposed to bear witness with me. No, it does supposed not. to be with the word of God. No, that's right. The yeah. word. Anybody can preach yeah. the word of God, but it's the yeah. spirit. Yeah. It's the spirit. That's how we're able to it's know who's a false prophet and who's not. Because it it's according to the word of God. It's according to the word of God. Okay, so question. Okay, I did. I did. And I called you nothing. Because you know why I said that? And I called you nothing. Yeah, she called, called, called me false prophet. Right, right, right. right. Well, she called me false you prophet. Said you are a prophet. No, no, no. The Bible says we're no, prophets. And we proved it. We proved it. That's the thing. This is David. This is why I read and we read everything. So that she can't say, I said. I didn't say anything. The word of God said it. So when it boils down to she hates the word of God. Give me Amos 5 and 10. What is the point of the prophet? What's the point of the evangelism? What is the point of the pastors? What's the point of the teachers? To turn back the rebellious Israelites to the word of God. Can we do all that? Oh, just the Israelites. Oh, yeah. Highways and hedges? Yes, sir. Amos 5 and 10. She said, what's the point? Oh, let's get that. Luke 14, 23. You in the spirit, Cap. She said, what's the point of the apostles? What's the point of evangelizing? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, listen. Oh, I, you know what I wanted? I wanted uh, Zephaniah 1 and 8. Remember that? Now, nah, hold on, hold on. We're going to get that next. I can't forget it. This is the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Does it say to sit in the church and wait for people to come in? Is that what it says? Did it say that? Did it say to sit in the church and wait for them to come? Bro, did it say that, David? It said, it said to go out to the highways and hedges and compel his people to come in. Where's your, where's your, there's hedges behind you. We're in a great highway now. You know, so, so, so where's your pastor? You asked the point of the prophets. What was the point of the apostles? The point of them. We just read it. 
We just read it. Okay. Are so you keeping you up? Just said, you just said that that's without. That's not the same thing, right? You said they're only called to bring the house of Israel. I didn't say they're only called. You asked one of the prophets. You said these people were called to bring the 12 tribes. Did you not say that? Let's read it again. Did, that's what you and said. And the Lord that's said unto the said. servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. So here's what God's word says. Compel his people to come in. Compel them. Compel means to force. You know that, right? Look it up on your phone. Compel means to force. So I don't know where people get this ideology that the apostles were like, hey brother, hey brother, please, please. No, they were not. The apostles were mighty men of God. They wanted to call down fire from heaven to burn the people up that were prophesying in Christ's name that wasn't with them. You're telling me these apostles was weak, mealy mouth men like Joel Osteen? You gotta be kidding me. The prophets were mighty men that preached to thousands at a time with no microphone. But you want some soft men. Soft men destroyed our communities. Soft men allowed their daughters to get abortions. Soft men allowed their wives and their daughters to dress like whores in the street. That's what. That's what soft men. That's what soft men is. Why are you not in those communities? Sister, you have no idea. What, why are you not? You in have those no idea. No, I, I, you're right. You have so no idea. We are in those communities. Yes. I don't see you in mine. Yes. I don't see you in mine. Oh, so you said? She said, "Why are we in those communities?" She said, "Why are we not outside her house?" I was at the liquor store one time and y'all left. Oh, so we was at a liquor store. Yeah, I was at the Where liquor, was the liquor store. store? Where? On the river. It was in the hood. Yep. It's in the, it's the in the well, duh. So we are in those neighborhoods. She lied you right left. now. You left. She lied. You lied. We over there you right lying. now. You lied. That's not you lying. Even a neighborhood. A neighborhood hey, is a house. Hey, why are you lying, Amanda? That's not the neighborhood. She said she saw us. That's a street. She saw us in the hood. What are you talking about? So she said, why don't you go to those neighborhoods? Where, but I, I saw you in the neighborhood by a liquor store. I don't see you preaching. Come That's on, not man. Amanda. Amanda. Cut it out, Amanda. The liquor store is a store. Amanda. It's not in the neighborhood. Amanda. I'm talking about Apple Valley. Come to Apple Valley. Come to Apple Valley. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Hey. Come to Apple we teach, yeah. we teach in Five you're Points in Atlanta, Valley. which is a trap. Right. We teach in Harlem, New York. We teach in Brooklyn, in the Bronx. Right. We teach in Little Haiti in Miami. So we teach in Cite Soleil in Haiti. We Apple. bring this word out in the so, most dangerous the places all over the world. Yes, yes, we teach in Chicago, in the murder capital, West and South Chicago. We teach in the most dangerous places, places your pastor ain't stepping foot in. Yes. Hey, you know, you know what's funny? When you see a pastor in the community, he's always bringing gifts. He never brings the word of God with power. He always brings them food. He brings them blankets. And we preach with power, just like Christ. Just like Christ. Because you're a devil. I don't see no You're a devil. Being hey, Mark 4, 14. This man is standing right here. This man is standing right here. Mark 4, 14. Only the Holy Spirit can bring yeah. my heart to yeah, 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 yeah. Only the Holy Spirit can bring my heart to The Holy Spirit. You don't have no power. Not the Holy you Spirit. Don't have no the power. Holy Spirit. You don't have no power. You don't have any power. Yes, yes. yes. You sound like you, a pastor right now. You are powerless. You are Mark chapter 4, That's verse 14. The sower, the word. So the sower and sower the, the word. word. That brother was here for a minute. No Listen to the word of God, right? Wait. You're from and blood. these are they by the wayside blood. where the word is sown. So the word was being sown. Before she came up, the word was being was being sown, right? Let's see what God says. On what ground? But when they have heard, when they ground? heard the word of God, they understood he was Israel. He was teaching the brother for a minute. Yep. Heard he knew he was Israel, right? Read. Really? Satan cometh immediately. Who, who comes in the you midst of that? No Satan cometh no immediately. Power. So who comes you and disrupts no the word power. of God going out? No Satan cometh immediately. No Amanda, you did you disrupt no the word power. of God? You have no power. You have no power. You have no Holy Ghost power. Right, right, right. I don't see you out right. here doing no signs right. and wonders and miracles. Satan cometh immediately. I don't see you praying. According to the word of God, that died off with the with the prophet with the apostles. That died off with the apostles. You don't know the word of God, sis. It died off with the apostles. Yes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Jesus said, Jesus said, the greater works that I did you. The apostles died after Jesus. What is wrong with this sister? Can y'all help? Help Amanda, help me help you. Oh my Lord. I can't hear And take it from where the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they, likewise, which are sown on Give me that Zephaniah 1 and 8. Bring it out. Hey, David just lusted, man. 
I caught David looking at you up and down a few times. Hey, hey, Amanda, Amanda, let me help you out. David just lusted. That's all it is. Because you're not dressed heals. modestly. You don't Jesus. That's, you don't that's, why. Jesus that's why. That's why. That's why. You don't believe Jesus heals? You don't believe Jesus heals? Lord. What are you talking about? What are you talking the about? Spirit he said he is the same yesterday healing. and forever. Died off. She said you're not calling it down signs off. and wonders. It died That's off. what she said. You, it died she off. said calling down you signs see? and wonders. You need to go Give me that yourself. Corinthians. It's called 1 Corinthians 1 and no, it's 1 Corinthians 14, I think it is. Is it chapter 14? Where it says, um, this is gonna be replaced by charity. I think it's chapter 14. Read, read Zephaniah 1 and 8. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8 And it shall come to pass In the day of the Lord's sacrifice That I will punish the princes And the king's children And all such as are clothed With strange apparel So you know what's funny There is a dress code That God has given And there is a punishment For going against the godly dress code God says he's going to punish The princes and the king's children and all those that are clothed with strange apparel. Yes, right. Strange apparel. First Corinthians 14 and 1. We'll get it in a second. We'll get it in a second. So read that one more time. And it shall come. You learned that today. <laughs> she, she learned that today. She didn't know that before today. We read it to her today. 10 minutes. Read that. And it shall come to pass. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes. We're prophesying right now. We're prophesying right now. We're prophesying right now. Let's read. You have no power. And the king's children. So we're prophesying right now. We're prophesying right now. You have no power. We're prophesying right now. Read. You have no power. And all set from the top. And it shall come to pass. Come to pass, meaning it hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen in the future. So when you read these future texts, guess what? That is prophesying. That's right. But let's see what God says. What's going to come out of that prophecy? And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is when he sends his son to redeem the earth. When he sends his son to bring punishment and judgment upon the earth. That is the day of the Lord's sacrifice. So God right? That I will punish the princes and the king's children and all God such as are clothed with strange heal. apparel. So all Lord those that are clothed with strange me. apparel. He says to cast out demons. Hey, I don't see you casting out no demons because I got one. I, oh, no, Who's supposed to wear the pants in the family? You don't believe in that. Why? David, listen. Oh, you're talking to David, sorry. Who's supposed to wear the pants in the family? Huh? The man. We all, we all know that, right? Did you know that was actually biblical? Right? She's singing Christian hymns. Woo. Get back to Amos 5. Yeah. We ain't pull that. I tell you. Amanda. Amanda. Hey, let's give me that. Titus 2. Titus 2. Titus 2. I know. You know what it is? Because America has exalted the woman, she looks at brothers as powerless. But when the white man was up here, she was like, yes, sir. Yes, Master Boss. As do it. As do it, boss. That's you. Yeah, okay. That's you. That's you. That's why you're so Our sisters, yeah, our sisters exalt the white man, but look at their brothers as powerless. As powerless. I'm rejecting no it. Power. What did I reject? You have no 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 power. See, because she has no argument, you she has to no keep repeating it, right? Right? That's like a fifth grade, fifth grade the argument. I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Right, David? David, no, right? Look at David. David, no. See, David, when you start lusting, it'll stick right here, bro. We'll get you, bro. We'll get you in the word of God. Hey. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Let's see what grace is. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation. Grace brings salvation. You're 100% correct. Keep reading. Hath appeared to all men. Come on. Teaching us. What does grace do? Teaching us. Grace is a tutorial for something. Mm. Keep reading. That denying ungodliness. Grace is a period to teach us how to deny ungodliness. Read. And worldly lust. And worldly lust. Mm. But keep reading. We should live soberly. You'll learn how to live soberly. Why? Because drunkenness is a sin. 
falling into other doctrines, wave, wave of doctrines is a sin. So grace is the period to understand what those sins are. Ready? Right? Righteously. Righteousness come by what? The keeping of the commandments of God, according to Deuteronomy 6.25. Read. And godly. And what? And godly. Come on. In this present world. So yes, we are under grace. But grace is a time period. Oh my yes. God. Yes. Jesus. It's a time period. Maybe for you. You know when I grace is over? I will have grace. You know when grace is over? Before my Jesus comes. I will oh, continue so to have grace. Oh, so grace is to when? Till Jesus comes. What the hell? Grace is until Jesus comes. Amanda, I said a period of time. Oh a period of time. Oh, man, you dodging and weaving, but we hearing you with its word, man. Lord Jesus. You're getting this word. My grace is sufficient for you. It what is. You it is. So let's go to it. Uh, Romans 7. Who is he talking about? Because you just said, my Romans grace seven. ain't sufficient for you. Or was it 14 when he asked to take it away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Come on, get it for me. I want Romans 7 and 7 first. Romans 7. She said, here we go. Here go that Bible again. Hey, Amanda. Hey, 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 hey. Look, You're taking yeah. Amanda hates the Bible. No, I love the Amanda word. Amanda hates the Bible. Every time we pull a scripture, she goes, oh, here No, you go because you sit there and pick and choose what scripture you want to go to to fit your talk. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, don't, don't That's what I'm that. talking about. Hey, can we prove we I can, can do that? I cannot receive your okay, word. I I'm want gonna, you to understand. Okay, Amanda. I'm not rejecting the word. Pause for one second. I'm rejecting the word. person is coming Pause for one second. I'm rejecting you. Pause for one second. I'm rejecting you. I'm rejecting you. One second. Let's get that straight. I reject one the word. I believe in the word of God. Okay, so we're gonna read something. I believe something. in the word of God. We're gonna read something. We're gonna read something. You're gonna Not stay quiet. False person. Okay. We're gonna read now, it. Now we can like that. Now we can read it. Go ahead. Amanda, you do you wrestle in your off time? Because you got a real aggressive spirit. You like kickbox or sure something. Paul was the same way. Yeah. Sure. No, but Paul was a man. That's sure. the difference. Are you a man? Right. I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Let's read that. Uh, 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 what you call it? Isaiah 28. Like no Isaiah 28. So we're going to let the word of God speak. We're going to let God's word be true in every man. A liar. Every man a liar. Man, you're going to be proving a liar today. Verse hey, you say, you say, oh, come on, brother. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. For we're standing lips. Verse precept or precept. Okay, come on. Verse 10. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Jump up one verse, verse 9. Verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk. Now, this is very important. Who is he going to give understanding of doctrine? Those that are weaned from the milk. Who's on milk? Isn't it babies, David? Babies on milk? And I quoted it earlier in Matthew chapter 18. Christ says to come as a child. As a child. So those who are coming in a childlike state, meaning humble down, Stop puffing themselves up as if they know something when obviously they know nothing. They know nothing. Come on. Come on. Oh, so we do know the word of God. Oh, so we. I know. I know. Listen, Amanda. I know in your eyes we are nothing. I know that. But in God's eyes we are definitely something. That's right. Know that for a fact. Understand that. Read that. So am I. I want you to precept, that. not while in I sin. Want you to understand that. Not while in sin. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Come a little. Read verse nine again. Read verse nine again. Amanda, listen, listen close. Hey, take the AirPods out. That's why you can't hear the word of God. It's it's like bouncing off. Come on. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Word of God. The word of God. The word, God, the, word God, the word of God, the word of God, the word of God, the word of God. Whom shall he make to understand you're doctrine? You're wicked. Them that are away from the milk. Prove that I'm you're wicked. Evil. Prove that you're I'm wicked. Evil. I can the way you're talking Prove that I'm woman. wicked. The way you're talking to a woman. The way I'm talking the to a woman. Just call me a demon. The way you, you just call me a demon. Who read out the Bible? The one they just called me a demon. comes immediately. But you don't have no sorrow because you will recognize who's in front of you. A demon. No. <laughs> no. She, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. Look, you ain't call, you're not talking to me. I just want you to Second understand you're not talking to me. Six. Wait, you're hold on, hold on, read that, read you're that. You're rejecting the one who sent me. That's all. They call Jesus who? Jesus Shall he you? Hey, you tell me they Jesus sent Jesus. you in Pum Pum shorts? Jesus, they 
Jesus. You telling me Jesus sent you and booty hugging shorts? David, are you serious? You think Jesus sent her and booty hugging shorts? That's why you're missing it. David, you think so? No, no. They, Jesus did not send you in their booty hugging shorts. No, I don't care what you say. They called him a rhyme. They called him a demon. They, they called him Beelzebub. And what is that? Right. And what is that? A demon. Whom shall we're helping you a lot today? You're we giving out too much precepts. <laughs> Come on. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And who shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept. What happened? Precept upon precept. No, read it from the text. Precept what? For precept must be upon precept. No, maybe. For precept must be upon precept. Go ahead. Precept upon precept. Uh -huh. Line upon line. Uh -huh. Line upon line. Uh -huh. Here a little and there a little. So why are we, why are we all over the place? We just read out the word of God. He commands us to go here a little, there a little, Precept upon precept, so you're precept. Don't tell me what I'm trying, trying to do. That's what you're trying We're not to do. trying to that's do anything. Right. We're doing what God you're said. Yeah, that's right. Come but on. You don't have any power. But you don't have any power. I know. You I know. I'm just a Negro, right? I'm just a Negro. Just a Negro. Just a Negro. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm not black. My pants are black. My boots are black. Your sneakers are black. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The spirit is black. The spirit is black. What scripture can I go to sir. and say that? Oh, sir. Yeah. Oh, sir. Yeah. Oh, sir. You know, you know, you know what's so funny? That's the problem with a lot of our sisters. When they get corrected through the word of God, they think the correction is demonic. The word of God corrects you. God can't correct you. God can't correct you. God can't correct you. God. You're not a prophet. You're not sent to correct me. God can't correct you. Hey, what a cap quote? Second Corinthians what? 11 and 6. There's no conviction. There's no conviction. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. You're trying to condemn me for wearing shorts. No, what I'm you're doing to, is give me that. Give me Ze uh, Ezekiel three. You're trying 3. to condemn me for wearing 17. shorts. Seventeen. Am I you're condemning to, you? Oh yes, you are. Let me show you. Let me show you what I'm doing. You sure are. You want to see what I'm doing? You sure are. You're telling me or no, you want to see? You're condemning me. Okay. You're condemning me. You, you can't can get the kingdom. You can justify your actions if you want to. I'm not justifying you anything. Definitely are justifying your actions. Let's see what God says. Definitely are justifying your actions. Ezekiel chapter You're 3 exactly verse 17 Bring it up. A second ago she said we know the Bible you, Right but now she's saying we're justifying you Which one is it you Which one me, is it You just said because I'm wearing short God cannot use me Right Because I'm wearing short It's called repentance You have to You have to You have to repent You have to repent Who am I repenting You have to repent Who am I repenting To the God that gave you the Bible in your hand right. What is you, wrong with are you Are you called to call me to repent to my God Hey are you called? Are you telling me? Son of man, you know you know why you know why you don't want to repent because it would force you to admit your in sin. It would force you to admit your in sin. Right, wait. It's not a checklist. The Bible is a checklist. It's, it's, oh, it is. Jesus. It because is. The Lord can only bring Guess what? Your heart into repentance. Thou shalt not kill. I don't. Duh. I'm not killing. I hate my brother. My heart. Duh. Check. Thou shalt not steal. I stop stealing. You check. Call me a demon. You see. You see the point. It is a checklist. Right. I can't. I, I can't. You can't make this stuff up. Hey, son of man, we want to make sure she's okay. What the hell? It's about to go down. Wait a minute. You want to make sure she's okay? Why? Because there's black men standing here speaking godly? Right. Oh, is she okay? You're her savior? Like every friggin' slave movie, some white man swoops in on a friggin' white horse and saves the slave. Now get the hell out of here. Is she okay? Right. I can't, yo, y'all. These devils make me sick, man. Right. Right. Is she okay? Now I bet she won't give him some bones tonight. Good. He came to my to my help. Damn devils. That's why that's why devils always find each other. Right. Devils always find each other. Talking about, I just want to know if you're okay. Let's know if you call the cops on. You don't call the cops on us? Because we're teaching the word of God. You don't call the cops on us? Oh, they're aggressive. They're aggressive. Call the damn cops then. We teaching the word of God. Right. Cops was here. We teaching the word of God. Who give a damn if you feel if she's okay? Ain't nobody do nothing to her. You damn devils always conspiring with the black woman. That's, That's why the right. black house is out of order. Because right. the right. black woman always listen to the white man right. and not to their own. Right. Damn devils is what you are. Each and last one of you. And right. make sure every Sabbath she come out here, you tell her she the damn devil. That's That's right. Right. She the damn devil. Right. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.